I do want to get you to current temperatures across the upper Great Lakes and the north woods of Wisconsin and all in all definitely we've seen colder nights but temperatures are right around that freezing mark 32 degrees. We have 33 for Sawyer, 34 for Escanaba and we got 31 for Manistique. 28 though Newberry at the Luce County Airport east of town and I also want to show you the visibilities here and visibilities at the Luce County Airport is down to a half a mile so definitely some fog heading east on M28 with temperatures below freezing, some fog developing in the eastern UP that could cause some icy roadways, so please be careful. And same across portions of the western UP in the north woods of Wisconsin with temperatures right around that 32 degree mark. Some of the roads heading south towards Eagle River and Rhinelander might be on the slick spot. Dense fog advisory actually in effect for western Wisconsin. No dense fog advisories for the eastern UP. And as we look at our radar and satellite, you can see we do have cloud cover continuing to move on through. Some spotty precipitation as well. As we widen out the view, you can see not much in the way of heavy precipitation across the Great Lakes region. But as we continue to widen out the view, i got to point your attention across the desert southwest. That's our next storm system heading this way to upper Michigan. The low pressure system is going to form across across portions of eastern Colorado and head this way and bring us widespread rain as we go into tomorrow night. So here's our local three future cast. I'm just going to roll this through tomorrow until tomorrow afternoon. You can see through 430 tomorrow afternoon a good deal of cloud cover and at times maybe some spotty rain showers and maybe some spotty wintry precipitation. But all in all it's going to be light. Just be careful of some patchy fog in some spots tomorrow morning across upper Michigan and maybe some patchy freezing fog. In comes the widespread precipitation from the south and west late tomorrow night into the early morning hours on Thursday. Starts off as rain, and I think for the majority of this, and for most spots across Upper Michigan, this is going to fall as all rain. Then as colder air, not Arctic air, and I'll show you that here in just a second, as colder air comes in from the north and west, the rain will switch over to snow, and we'll have snow across our area Thursday afternoon from west to east, and then snow across the rest of the UP as we go into Thursday. Thursday night. Here's the reason why we're not looking at Arctic air rolling on in. The storm system that's going to be the main player is coming out of eastern Colorado and that's going to head towards us. Cold front has some colder air behind it, but you can see with the snow and the colder air starting to move on in, We've definitely seen colder air, and this really isn't much in the way of colder air. It's all bottled up, the Arctic air that is, way up there in northern Canada. But still, here comes this storm system on through here tomorrow night. And on the back side of it, the colder air, marginally colder air, will switch the rain over to snow as we go into the nighttime hours on Thursday. Snowfall forecast as we go into the daytime hours on Thursday and on into Thursday night. You can see the higher totals here are going to be across the west. Western UP with the highest amounts expected to be in the higher terrain of the Keweenaw Peninsula and west of Marquette and also parts of the Western UP around Ironwood. Temperature forecast tonight, a couple of inland spots fall in the 20s, closer to the shorelines of the Great Lakes in the 30s. Here's your extended forecast. We're looking at temperatures in most spots, 30s and 40s the next couple of days, a little bit chillier as we go into the daytime on Friday. And then as we go into Saturday, we're looking at temperatures bouncing back a little bit back into the 30s and it looks like this mild trend is going to continue as we head into early next week. You can always get your latest weather forecast on our website at UPM.